Oh, hello everybody and welcome back to Sakura's Ending Route Part 2. Where we left off, we went to the amusement park once again, but it was obviously for Sakura this time. So let's begin. Lucky card is a buzzing. Buzzing. Summer is in... F summer? Summer is in full throttle. That was quick. There's no breeze today, so it gets steadily hotter. Thankfully, the shrine is deep in the woods, so the shade makes it relatively cool. Phew. Ever since that day, I can't stop thinking about Sakura's smile. I want to get closer to Sakura. I want to talk with her. I want to hold her hand. Oh, Lord San, are you here? Sakura! <laughs> it's very hot outside today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's summer for you. Summer's just gonna be hot. Can't do anything about it. With Sakura right in front of me, I get nervous and my hands begin to sweat. My body temperature suddenly rises. Ugh, I never had trouble hanging out with the girls before this. Actually, I was hoping to get your opinion on the name for my manga if you're interested. Name? Like the title of the manga? In Japanese, the word name instead of refers to something like a blueprint for a manga. Before drawing the actual pages, you do an approximate approximate rough sketch of how they will go, like this. Right, see? Sakura opens her notebook as she speaks. In the notebook, there's a manga drawn in pencil. The panels are roughly laid out, and there's some rough sketches drawn in. There's dialogue written in the speech bubbles, too. Oh, thank goodness. I can talk about manga without getting nervous. Good thing I have common interests with Sakura. Let's see here. I page through the notebook, read book reading the name. The story is a derivative work of Samurai Maiden, just like she said before. It's it is it's it's set after the Samurai rule has ended. European power advance powers advance and Japan's exclusion of foreigners under the Edo Shogunate that had lasted three hundred years is being withdrawn. The main character is a foreign civil official. As a member of a special delegation, he's involved in various negotiations with Japanese shogunate. But he's actually a spy for the Navy. In the Navy. In case they have to engage in discussions under, the, under military power, his mission is to get an accurate understanding of the shogunate's war potential. However, by chance he finds out that a key figure of the Satsuma domain, Saigo Takamori, is actually a girl. At the time, Japan was totally based on male lineage. It was unheard of for a female to succeed as the head of a family as a samurai. Taking advantage of this outrageous scandal, he planned to blackmail Saigo-chan for information on the government, but Saigo-chan refused to give in. Soon the two of them fall in love. Is how the story goes. I peek at Sakura's face. Oh, look at her. She looks so sad. If I give my aunt's opinion, would it hurt her feelings? Would it be better to just flatter her with compliments? Well, it is so interesting. Although instantly falling in love, obviously there'll be more stuff to go to it if she's doing more than one chapter. But, yeah. It, it give your honest opinion, my son. If there's anything that bothers you, please let me know without holding back. Really? I'd be thankful for that. I'm a novice at manga, so I know it won't be good right off the bat. If you insist, I won't hold back. First, I think that maybe the main character and Shogo-chan fall in love is too suddenly. There we are! They do say love is sudden. E yeah, that does happen in reality a lot too. I hastily clear my throat. What does the main character like about Psycho-chan? How she is straightforward, won't get in, and is honest. Strange thing for a spy. Then how about adding a specific scene to show it, for example like this. I forget all about the heat and get absorbed in the debate. <laughs> Manga is quite difficult, isn't it? 
Sorry, all I did was read it, and yet I'm saying whatever I want. No, no, thanks to you, the theme is more clear. Thank you, Overlord Sun. I honestly wouldn't do mine do my own manga. I, w I honestly wouldn't mind, but there's one problem I can't draw for shite. Oh, I do know that. Um, oh, actually, I don't really think that's the case, but I assume that someone can write, like, the author, so to speak, like, you know, write a story, and then if he or she can't draw, can get an artist. I mean, I have seen on tags where there's an author, and it or when there's the author's name and the artist's name, if there's different, but... For some reason, I just get ahead and like, oh, so you do the writing and you do the art, is that it? But I get the feeling that it's both the case, but yeah, you know. My heart throbs when I see Sakura smile. I want to get close to Sakura. I want to talk with her. What are we doing now? Also, it's quite a bit to ask of you, but when I begin drawing the manga, I wonder if you would help me with it. Uh, of course, I'll help. Please let me help. I'm better... I'm a better servant than I look. If we can draw manga together, we can spend way more time together. We can talk a lot too. Uh, you've never mentioned how you can draw though. If that's how it goes, then there should definitely be a chance where I can approach Sakura. I'm really, I'm really so glad we have the same interests. So starting the next day, we begin drawing the comic. You guys are up to something weird, huh? Make sure to clean up before dinner time, okay? Sakura lays out all the drawing tools on the table. There's the manga paper. Yeah, pens, screen tone. Well then, first I'll ask you to draw the panels outline. Follow where they are drawn in pencil. And use a ruler to trace over them with a pen. You're drawing a p on paper, huh? Isn't there software to draw manga on computers now? Well, yeah, there is, but... Certainly that may be easier. However, at least once I want to try to draw a manga on paper. Oh, I see. I get what you mean. Also, the original author, Sage Sensei, is, the one, is one of the rare authors who still use traditional drawing methods. So I wanted to copy her. Maybe because she's afraid... I think she's a copycat. She looks down embarrassedly. That just is too cute. No fear. Here comes the awkward music. The next day. Oh. Sakura, I bought a cake. Do you want do you want to take a break? Thank you. I'll put on some tea then. Why didn't he do that? At the cake shop near the station, I brought a slightly expensive, nice-looking cake. It was a bit tough on my wallet, though. The sponge cake is gently soaked in liquor and topped with plenty of fresh seasonal fruits. It's so colourful, I feel fancy just looking at it. Posh bastard. The smell of black tea rises from the teapot. I slide my fork into the cake on my plate. And it sinks into the soft cake without his resistance. Mmm, delicious. It's not overly sweet, so you can clearly taste the fruit. Ugh. Sakura, do you like sweets? I don't think there are any girls who dislike sweet things. Okay, okay, okay. Sakura chan. Oh my Jesus, wet. <laughs> Sakura chan is a girl too. I wonder if she secretly ate sweets behind everyone's back. <laughs> there aren't any scenes like that in the original manga, though. That's an interesting theory. It is the time period when Western... Confectionaries? Have just begun to spread across Japan. I could probably include a scene about that. <gasps> it could be a gift for, like, the, um... Spy... Double O Love, I'll call him. <laughs> that's the name of the title. Double O Love. Um, that's the name of the title. Yeah, title of the episode. You pillock uh, comes in and is like, oh, uh, here's some sweets. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, for recording. For a while after that, we discussed together what kind of events would make for an interesting, exciting story.
And the next day. Hmm. Sakura looks troubled as she stares at a pure white piece of paper. What's the matter, Sakura? I just can't settle on the plot development. How to draw and what to draw. Did you already draw the name? I decided to draw whatever I like now. I won't give in until it's something I approve of. I see. Sakura earnestly ponders. Well then, how about going for a little walk? It's probably a bit cool at this time of the day. I think it'd be a nice change of pace. I can't lie. I also have the ulterior motive of wanting to go on a walk with Sakura, but I really do think it'd be not a nice change of pace for her. She'll be able to clear her mind and see everything from a distance from start to finish. Yeah, but I think I'm about to come up with something. It seems Sakura doesn't want to part with her paper. Oh, well, what about watching the samurai made in anime again from the start? That's a good idea. I might notice something new about it. Will you watch it along with me? Of course. After that, we don't just watch the anime, but look back on the original comics too, and debate about them. What a lovely date. The next day. Sakura, I have a little present for you today. I take out a bouquet of flowers I hidden behind my back and present it to Sakura. Okay. Well, I understand the why, but... Why? It's full of many colourful flowers in full bloom. If you breathe in... It, if you breathe in, the scent of some flowers is enough to make you cough. It was pretty painful to pay for, but it's worth it if I can see Sakura's smiling face. Oh my, how lovely. Please wait a moment. Sakura immediately stands up. She brings a vase she filled with water. She takes some... Hot... Horticultural... Horticulture scissors in hand as well as several flowers bunched together. With no hesitation, hesitation, she cuts the extra leaves off and places them in the vase while considering the, the arrangement. It suits her perfectly, <laughs> that face. The dining table looks so elegant now. Karin san and Nayo san will be glad. Sakura, you're amazing. This is really beautiful. It's a bit embarrassing, but I have a small interest in Kado. Explain. Kado, flower arrangement. Japanese flower design, right? Yeah. In the Meiji era, it influenced Western flower arrangement. Oh, right. Wow, I see. Cultural exchange, huh? Saigo Chen would probably not have the chance to learn flower arrangement. I wonder if she was upset about it. Um, I don't know. She might act angry if the main character put a rose in his pocket to act pretentious. <laughs> pretentious prick! That's a good idea. We forget about we forget about time as we get immersed in discussing Saga Chan and the Marines interactions while involving the arts. Let's add a little fight though. Alright. How strange. No matter what I do, nothing romantic is happening between us. <laughs> Today's the day of Tomo Shrine Summer Matsuri festival. It's usually so quiet here, but today lots of carts are set up for the Mitsuri Yakisoba Takayaki shooting... Oh, right, right, right. Shooting games, yo-yo balloon, yo -yo balloons, and goldfish catching. Lots of local people are visiting, and many are dressed up in summer kimono called Yukata. It feels like THE Japanese summer. This Matsuri is done in association with the local shopping district, so it's a pretty big event. Of course, unlike last time at the Tanabata Matsuri. The representative of the shrine, Priest Sh Shirakawa, is taking control. I met Priest Shirakawa for the first time last night. It seems he'd be in Hiroshima <laughs> until yesterday. 
He's a very lively guy, and immediately after talking with him, I could see why he's friends. Why he's a friend of my sensei. Sakura, Karin, and I are all helping out today to show their thanks to him. As for me, they said there's no work for me to do, so I'm left on my own to just go enjoy myself at the Matsuri. I don't feel right about being the only one having fun while everyone is working now. <clears throat> Sakura, can I help you with anything? Oh, Lord San, good evening. Since I was given an easy job, I don't have much to do at all. Shut up, Jay. Since Sakura doesn't have much strength, I, should, ugh, I keep saying that, but I should really. Where would I put the bloody WD 40? Uh, since Sakura doesn't have much strength, her task is to help sell fortunes at the Shrine's office. Today, the main attraction is the Mitsuri, so there isn't a steady flow of customers. So, you're drawing the manga in your free time? I see the name notebook in Sakura's hand. It's just idle time, so I'm making the most of it right now. Sakura is totally captivated by drawing manga. I've tried many different things to woo Sakura, but in the end, we always wind up talking about the manga, and I strike out. It's kind of frustrating. Well, also, to be honest, I'm a bit frazzled as I'm short on time. I need to advance whatever, whenever I have the chance. Do you have a deadline? Com Epro is held in the middle of August. I want to finish before then. Comprio, short for Comet Promenade, held twice a year in summer and winter in seaside Tokyo. It's Japan's largest event for buying and selling. For the buying and selling of Dosh, Dojinji. What? Soccer? You can sell it at Comprio. I didn't know that. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not. The entry period ended over half a year ago. I couldn't make it in time now. Then why? It's just a personal goal. If I, if I don't decide on a deadline, I think I might slack off. I see. I get what you mean. If you can finish whenever you feel like it, you might drag your feet and take longer and longer. It happens. But really, creating something is so difficult. Sakura sighs after saying that. I only read manga before, so it responsibly gave my pins on them. But when I'm the one actually drawing, it's very difficult. Yeah, I bet. Even just watching from the sidelines, I can't help but see Sakura worrying day after day, so I get what she means. As I think of one line... Oh, that's fucking Sakura. As I think of one line and one drawing, I start to wonder if it's good enough, if it's right, and I start to question myself. Honestly, sometimes it's so frustrating, I want to throw everything out, but on the other hand, when I'm convinced I've done well, I'm so happy. Yeah, actually, if you compare your manga now to how it started, it's gotten better. My manga? Huh? What? To me, it's thanks to your collaboration. Oh, Lord San, so I think we can call it our creation. <laughs> oh, good gracious. What's he going to be thinking? What? Well, all I've been doing is watching you and making flippant comments. Does it bother you if I say that? No, that's not it. Um, excuse me. A custom Earl oh, Fe well, a customer's here to buy fortune. Sakura goes to help him. I wave goodbye and leave the area so I don't get in the way of her to work. It'll help the cause greatly. I just can't convey my feelings to Sakura well, but I guess for a while it's fine just to have fun talking about the manga. Maybe I'm a little too simple minded for thinking this way. Hey, hey, you loafers. Oh, Lord, good work. What? Good job, you two. When I leave the office, I'm caught by Io and Karine. How's work going? I finished our first ra round of patrolling, so I'm taking a break. It's not time for my part yet. 
How's it going for Sakura? She's with the customer right now, but it seems like she's drawing her manga when she's free. She's really gotten so interested in drawing manga, it's kind of unexpected. Sakura-chan is being so lively, though I gotta tell her later to be careful not to get too obsessed with one thing. <coughs> yeah, Sakura is really trying hard. Hmm. <laughs> Look at those tilted faces. What are you two grinning about? You like Sakura, don't you? What? Ha. No, uh, what's that? What? what? That's... <laughs> you don't have to hide it. Am I that easy to read? Oh, Lord, you've always been looking at Sakura-chan with passionate eyes. I get embarrassed just watching. <coughs> I see. I've really been wearing my heart on my sleeve. It's so obvious, yet Sakura hasn't the slightest idea. This is... a problem. I'll give you one piece of advice. If you don't say things to Sakura straight out, she won't get it. Sakura-chan is really slow when it comes to herself. Yeah, I've been getting that experience firsthand for a while now. But man, what's the deal with that? With this? I f it feels like right... It feels like right now Sakura's mind is full of manga and she won't think about anything else at all. Hold on. Let's think about this from another angle. What's tickled your brain? If that's the case, if I start talking about manga then maybe... Maybe what? 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 What are you doing? I thought I was going to leave this segment and I was like, what are you doing? Sakura, I want to take a break. I peek into the shrine office and call out to Sakura. Well, fucking done. Oh, that's Sam, but I have work. I asked the head priest. He said once the fireworks display starts, everyone will be watching that. And that it's okay to, cl okay to close up here. I think I've just got been going crazy. The fireworks display. Today around a river bed. Nearby there's gonna be a big fireworks display. Since Storm Shrine is a bit elevated. They say you can see the fireworks well from here. According to the priest to priest Shikawa, they go out of their way to make the Matsuri the same day as the fireworks. It's really hard to get a spot near the river, so many people come to the Mitsuri just to get a good view. The fireworks are supposed to be pretty amazing. Maybe you can get some inspiration for your manga. What? That's true. Okay, let's go. What's on your mind, bugger lugs? Tell me. Sakura closes up shop and locks the door. We walk together through the Mitsuri. I buy some rame, rame, ramune soda and cotton candy from a food stall as we pass by. The enthusiasm of the Mitsuri gets my heart excited. This sure is a huge crowd of people. I wonder if we'll really be able to see the fireworks. I happen to know a perfect secret spot. Shall we go there? Sakura brings her face close to mine and whispers in my ear. Her long eyelashes flutter. So beautiful. Oh! A passerby crashes into Sakura's shoulder and she loses her balance. I take her hand without thinking. Sakura's hand feels cool to the touch. Fine and smooth. Are you okay? Yes. Um. This way, right? Yes. <laughs> I pull on Sakura's hand. She guides. Yeah. She guides me to a side road by the temple, going towards the hill behind it. This way. If you go up, there's a branch shrine that even the locals don't know about. Sakura points into the darkness. In the faint moonlight, I can see some rotted stone steps on the ground. It's dark, so watch your step. Yes. Relying on my phone's light, we walk in the darkness. The fuss of the Mitsuri gets farther and farther. 
It's so hot. We somehow managed to climb the sudden stone steps, despite it being hard to see, and come to a clearing in the forest. When I shine a light, I can see a small wayside shrine. That must be what Sakura meant by the branch shrine. I naturally go, let go of Sakura's hand. I feel a little regretful about it. When did the fireworks begin? Maybe we're a little early? No. Then let's take our time and wait. Time spent in anticipation is nice too. Sakura st sits down on the steps. The sounds of insects sound louder than the Mitsuri. Back at the shrine grounds. Right now we're totally alone here. Oh, Lord Sun, when I finish drawing the manga, let's go to Kami Pro together. Kami Pro? I've always wanted to go at least once. I want to sell my work at Kami Pro in winter, so this will be a good chance for me to take a look at the event. Ah, uh, I can't come see it in winter. How frustrating. <laughs> I can't talk to Ayo san and Karin san about this kind of thing. Oh, Lord Sun. You are most kind. Uh, you are you are my most kindred spirit. Kindred spirit. Yeah, that phrase was. At the mom at that moment, the fireworks finally began to sound. High in the sky, the large petals of the fireworks bloom like big, colourful flowers. Oh wow! The open sky here really does make this the perfect spot. Beautiful. The colours of the fireworks reflect on Sakura's profile as she whispers. She looks magical. Beautiful. I gulp down my spit. Uh, Sakura. Yes. Kindred spirit. Yes, it is as you say. However, what we have here, first and foremost, is but a man and a woman. Before you dream, perhaps you should see me as a man. Okay. I somehow managed to speak in the difficult Satsuma dialect spoken in Samurai Maiden without stuttering. I read it again and again so now I can recite this famous line from Samurai Maiden with my clo eyes closed. While knowing Shaiko's channel identity, her childhood friend Satsuma who fought Satsuma? Yeah, Satsuma who fought alongside her as a kindred spirit confessed his hidden feelings in this once in a lifetime scene. Sakura should immediately recall what kind of scene this line was used in. So she should realize how I feel. Sakura looks at me with a spaced out expression. Oh, <gasps> look at her face. Expect expectation, worry, and other various feelings all race through my brain at once. I can't do such a thing. In order to protect the citizens of Japan from barbaric enemies, I promised to the deceased lord Nari Kira, Naria Kira that I would exhaust all my life for his go this goal. To do so, I cannot be a woman. I am glad for your feelings, but I cannot accept them. Ah! Will we just turn down? Sakura cited Sakura's child reply word for word without a mistake. This is great. I could use this scene in the manga, manga well, in the manga as well. Sorry, old boat son. I'm gonna go back now. <laughs> Sakura gets excited and descends the stone steps on her own. My boy. <laughs> He's laughing. I can't help but laugh. I said it so straightforwardly, and yet she still didn't get it. She really can't think about anything but the manga in front of her. But I admit I like that side of her, so I'm kind of stuck. Yeah, I'll stop rushing. I just have to try hard and proceed bit by bit. So, how'd it go, Sakura? What do you mean? You and Overlord went to watch fireworks together, just the two of you, right? Did you have fun? Oh, now I understand. Something wonderful happened. I was speechless. Oh, yeah? Hey, we're family, right, Missy? 
So let old Kari know what was so wonderful, huh? Kari and Chan, you sound like an old man. Oh. <laughs> well, as long as the protagonist is fine, then it doesn't really matter. Huh? Oh Lord, it's such a, oh Lord, it's such a genius. He has great ideas. I could never have come up with this my, by myself. Oh God, I went all aisle then. Um, but wasn't it kind of a special moment? Yes, it was very special. Oh Lord, Sun created and showed such a beautiful moment to me. That means, oh, actually, I have to go start working on my manga with this brilliant idea now. Excuse me, <laughs> Sakura. Sakura-chan. Is she gone? Yeah, she's gone. Lissai. I bet Overlord tried his best too, huh? She's... She's top-tier clueless. I'm starting to feel sorry for Overlord. Do you think we should help a little? Um, that's kind of unfair, I think. I guess so. Even if she gets together with him, he goes back to his, to his country in a month, so I don't know if they'd last... Oh, we should just stay neutral and only help if they ask for it. Yeah, you're right. Good gracious, I've never seen someone so dense before. Well, I have, but not as a woman. But not a woman. <laughs> so yeah, that was part two for Sakura's ending route. I will see you all for part three. Good day.